Tinubu is sick, may not survive. Simon Epa drops bombshell about Tinubu's alleged health condition. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we get to air this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that Tinubu is sick and may not survive, Simon Epa drops one bombshell about Tinubu's alleged health condition. Well, in a recent statement, Simon Epa self styled Minister of the Indigenous People, Bradford IPOB, has sparked controversy by asserting that Nigeria President Bola Metinibu is gravely ill and may not survive his current health challenges. Epa, who is known for his outspoken views on Nigerian politics, made these remarks amid ongoing political tensions and speculations surrounding Tinibu's health. Epa Hoop operates as a prominent figure within IPOB, despite being based abroad, took to social media to deliver his startling claim referring to Tinubu as the criminal in Aso Rock. Epa described the president's health condition as dire, suggesting that Tinubu's battery is very low and is not charging well. These statements from Epa have immediately drawn strong reaction across various political circles in Nigeria. Supporters of Tinubu have dismissed Epa's claim as baseless and inflammatory, emphasizing the need for verified information regarding the health of the nation's leader. Conversely, Epa's followers and sympathizers within the Probrafia movement have amplified his assertion, viewing, viewing them as critical comment, commentary on the state of governance in Nigeria. Bola Ahmed Tinibu, a permanent political figure and former governor of Lagos State, has been a central figure, central figure in Nigerian politics for decades. As a potential presidential ca- candidate for the upcoming election, any news regarding his health nat- naturally attracts significant public attention and scrutiny. However, official sources close to Tinibu have denied Ekpa's claim, leaving the public discourse largely sp- speculative and contentious. The timing of Epa's remark is notable, coming amid the backdrop of high stint political activity and uncertainty in Nigeria, with the country facing various social political challenges, including um, security concerns and economic pressures. The health of key political figures like Tinubu becomes a focal point for public discourse and speculation. Simon Epa's role within IPMB adds a layer of complexity to the situation. As a diaspora-based advocate for Bradford independence, Ekpa often uses his platform to critical Nigerian government politics and leaders. His latest comments about Tinubu reflect a broader narrative of dissent and spectatism towards the current administration, resonating strongly within certain segments of the Nigerian population. While in response to Ekpa's assertion, calls for responsible journalism and factual, rep- and, and factual reporting have emerged from media watchdogs and political commentators. The importance of accurate information in shaping public opinion and discourse is underscored by the sensitive nature of, of health-related news involving public figures like Tinubu. Furthermore, Epa's choice of words referring to Tinubu as a criminal underscores the intense political division within Nigeria. Such rhetoric com- um, contributes to the polarized nature of public discourse further complicating efforts towards national unity and consensus building. Well, as the situation unfolds, stakeholders across Nigeria continue to monitor development closely, the credibility of Epa's claims, the potential implications of Nigeria's political landscape, and the broader implication of public trust in media and governance remain subjects of intense scrutiny and debate. Well, that is all we have for you now, guys, concerning this headline today this morning. We says here that Tinibu is sick, may not survive, as Simon Epa drops bombshell about Tinibu's alleged health condition. And what you had for me this morning, and if you want to subscribe, the best you can do right here, right now, is to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on the video to get more updates concerning this in the next future to come. Hmm. This is Simon Epa right here, right now, saying that Tinibu is very, very sick and may not survive. Well, of it, of recently, someone never posted on his verified X account that Tinibu is very sick and may not survive. Now, we all know that Simon Epa is not a big fan of Tinibu. In fact, yes, Simon Epa actually wants Tinibu dead. Yes, 
So, I mean, everyone wants Tinubu dead. So, a lot of people looking at this, Tinubu supporters are like, nah, this man is just in trust, so all of us can fear. And a lot of Shaman Ekwa supporters are like, that, that just emphasizing on this, that like, yes, she, she even died, this and this, this and that, this and this. That one has caused another argument again on Twitter. Yes. We all know that Shaman Ekwa is known for his outspoken views on when it comes to Nigeria politics. And this man has made another, uh, made another Twitter argument online now saying that this Tinubu is this, Tinubu is that. Although, political leaders in, 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 in Tinubu's presidency have said, have tell everybody that nobody should, nobody should listen to Samuel Pacha, he's lying. Like, their presidency is very much healthy because anytime Nigerian citizens hear that Tinubu is sick, they want to know whether the person who is saying is, is, whether the person that is telling, breaking the news to us is correct or this and that. Because they don't want they don't want a situation whereby the president is sick and they do not know. That is some that, that that is Nigerian citizens for you. But some Ekpa now has is saying that the president is sick. I don't know if some Ekpa is telling the truth. But one thing I know is that some Ekpa doesn't like Tinibu. and they can do anything just to distract Tinibu from his from his work. Or you you understand what I'm trying to, you understand what I'm trying to tell you. These statements from Samuel Nepal have immediately drawn what they call a strong reaction across political circles in Nigeria. Tinubu supporters have dismissed their past claims as baseless and inflammatory, emphasizing the need for verified information regarding his health of the nation's leaders. That was what they think. They say that if they want to get um, news concerning Tinubu's health, it's not from some, it's not from Samuel Nepal. We get it from a verified news source, not Samuel Nepal. Well, and Bola made. Tinibu, who is a prominent political figure in, and the former governor of Lagos State, has been a central figure in Nigerian politics for decades. Because everybody thinks that Tinibu, an old man, may pass out soon. So everybody is afraid. Anytime the year say Tin, uh, Tinibu is sick and is not recovering well. I think now you understand the gravity of the situation. Well, one thing is for sure, most citizens in Nigeria do not believe Samadekpa. Yes, because of his not, they, 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 they take his saying as just baseless. Or what do you guys think? Drop your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as a big video and watch the notification bell. So anytime we have a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.